All right, crew. I'm listening. I'm reading your comments. Today we're revisiting the Odyssey uh, LCD XC headphones. Uh, so I still think that these are awesome headphones. Like, like I'm, I'm still amazed at the difference between what I've been listening to in my entire life and then what these offer for me now without any EQ or anything. But a lot of you have left comments about either adding extra hardware or EQing these things to make them sound even better. So I thought we'd dive in today and take a look at some of those options and really see if it's necessary. Cool, so let's take a look. All right, so the one thing that we're gonna look at today that I think is going to be paired very well for those types of uh, users who are maybe new to the headphone industry and just want something that works right out of the box without having to spend a whole lot of extra more, a whole lot more money, extra money, is the Equalizer APO. I'll make sure to put this link in the comments. Uh, all you have to do is download it, super simple. You'll have to reboot your computer. And then after you reboot, we can go find where this, uh, where this program exists under program files. And we're looking for Equalizer APO. We'll double click that. And the two things that we need to be aware of here actually is the config uh, folder and then the editor.exe option. So these are the two places we're gonna be visiting today. And um, when we launch the editor, we're gonna get this secondary screen that kind of shows all of these bells and whistles that we can change for the EQ line. Now, when I first loaded this up, the EQ uh, profile was just flat across the board. And after doing some research and figuring out exactly how these LCD XCs perform, this is the uh, modified uh, EQ curve that supposedly you know, balances the headphone so that it's closer to that Harman curve, right? So that natural curve for listening to audio, I suppose. Now, I don't claim to be an expert in any of this stuff, but I am learning as I go. And I think this is a really good way for beginners to kind of take that next step forward and not just buying a nice pair of headphones, but then also EQing those headphones. So let's talk about how all this stuff is generated, right? Um, I've tweaked this and added my own settings and, and um, certainly I would recommend that you do the same, but this is all actually derived off of a dot txt file so the the file I, you, know, you can see i've i have a couple of tests here but the file that we're referencing in the in the um, editor is actually this config file and i'll be sure to copy and paste this as well so that you guys can have this um, in the description so you can just copy and paste and tweak as you like so all of these settings you can see here we have a 10 20 50 450 are the same settings that are actually driven in the editor file let's go back and take a look real quick 10, 20, 50, 450. We can see all those there with all the settings kind of initialized and thus give us this curve. Okay, if you've made it this far, consider hitting the thumbs up and subscribe there. I got some more great content from, coming for you right around the corner. So I've listened to all kinds of music. In fact, <laughs> I specifically listen to a like a, I feel like a nice array of music between classical, amongst other things, to kind of figure out how the balance of this of this feels, how this how the the EQ uh, kind of improves the sound and separates the the highs and lows and mids and all that stuff. And uh, this is just a combination of me learning all kinds of stuff on YouTube, um, reading all kinds of stuff online, and then kind of putting it all together into one kind of final. Uh, video for for us kind of novice headphone folk to um, to take that leap right so uh, you know I would I would say that you know if you just copy and paste this this txt file into the equalizer APO this is a really great starting point in fact I like this a lot some of the some of the audio that I have personally tested with this and my uh, you know immediate family have a, have a personally tested with this are you know th ranging from uh, classical to some Michael Jackson to some BTS for the highs. Uh, we had Khalid, uh, Young, Dumb, and Broke for the lows. Sounded magnificent. We did some No Diggity, some Eminem, some Dr. Dre, um, and then we also did Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One to kind of listen to some some old school classical music, or some old school music rather, not so much classical. But I don't know. It's classic to me. So with with that all being said, you know, these are my preferences. Are they going to be exactly your preferences? No. But I mean, that's the great thing about Equalizer APO. You can kind of just tune this to something that you like. And again, this is a great starting point. OK, cool. So now that we've kind of visited this and, and you can see how things change and we, we, we see how we can EQ this, is it really worth it? 
So a lot of folks in comments left left you know their their opinions uh, about whether or not I should EQ these, right? Uh, I would say that uh, I wasn't missing much actually, to be entirely honest, with just the plug and play on the LCD XCs, which is kind of what I expected because they already sounded really good, but now seeing that you know some minor tweaks here and there in the EQ we can really get these things to sound even better, which I didn't initially think was possible because I was blown away by the quality. So, do you have to EQ it? No. Do you want to make that next leap to you know improve your audio files, improve your listening, improve, maybe improve your editing? Um, if the answer to that's yes, then a really affordable way to, to kind of tweak Windows um, and your current hardware to 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 adjust your audio settings it would be through equalizer apo you don't have to you don't have to buy an expensive dac um you know you don't have to buy an additional amplifier to drive the headphones like the, these actually work pretty good and they don't need a whole lot of power to drive now let's talk about driving the headphones based off the eq and let's take a look back at equalizer apo because there's a couple extra things you have to know so jumping back into into equalizer um you'll notice that that there's a curve and then you'll notice that I have my my preem and it's set at negative 12. And the reason why I did that is because one, I think the sound that's coming through the headphones is probably the maximum volume I want to listen to it anyway. And it's not going to be overly loud, uh, but there's also another reason. So I kind of justified this as being the happy spot. But when I, sh when I change this to like negative six, you'll see this these red areas show up in the EQ. And essentially what that's telling me is that I don't have the capacity to drive this, right? I'd have to have some sort of amplifier to get me to those extra scenarios. And if I go back to one or zero, let's just say, then you can see that there's a lot missing here. So this is relatively dependent on, um, you know, what's driving your headphones and then, you know, how this curve, um, or like how this curve represents those red regions. Now, I did notice that when I, even though I, 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 I was testing this and I, and I put it in, I deliberately brought the curve into the red regions. I did notice that the quality did not sound as good as it could, so I just brought it back down. But generally speaking, if you if you maybe do have something that drives this thing a little, with a little more power, say more than my, my Yeti Pro mic, then you can just simply bump this value up and find find the happy spot for your system so that it, you know, it performs uh, you know, optimally. But you want to avoid the red sections, all right? So you just want to keep the red sections out. Another thing that I noticed is the resolution. So you can bump this value up or down. This controls how continuous and smooth the line of the curve is. And so the lower you go, like the choppier it gets. Um, you might just play with this just to see, you know, um, if you like a flatter EQ or like maybe a more dynamic EQ based off the resolution. Kind of just a fun little fact. So in summary, Right? Do you have to EQ the Odyssey LCDX headphones? My answer is no. Absolutely not. Plug and play all day long. This holds true for this specific headphone, the LCDX series. Uh, based off feedback from others online, the LCD threes and fours, you know, they maybe require a different EQ, but those are a higher ended headphone. So I would I would assume that you have the correct audio equipment and you have the amplifiers and so on to actually, you know reach the peak of that uh of the uh the technology in those phones but as as far as as far as um the lcdxcs go plug and play is just fine if you want to squeeze a little extra juice out of them then of course the uh the equalizer apo is free and you can eq it with very little cost um <laughs> free um or you can jump up to like you know the the professional amplifiers or the dacs so that you can drive um uh you know more power to these um, to these headphones, but again, not necessary. I was looking at some that were like 160 bucks, all the way to 1400 dollars, and I was just like, "Gosh, do I really need this?" For me personally, the average Joe listener, I don't. Equalizer APO does everything I need it to do. You have to ask yourself that question: Is it something I need? Is it something I want? <laughs> You know, only you can answer that, but this is my take. So, hey, if you watch this all the way through, I can't thank you enough. Uh, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button at the bottom. Uh, I definitely appreciate that. It keeps me making great content for you. And then it's also really rewarding to see you guys, you know, essentially thank me by subscribing. Hey, that was a great video. I totally appreciate that.
So this is Adam Hughes. Thanks for watching. Fight on.